in season one in 1998 as well. So most of his episodes were done between 2001 to 2004. He played a character that had an awful lot of friction with Richard Dean Anderson's main character, uh, Jack O'Neill, a sort of uh, a bad win authority of the government in terms of uh, such, in terms of his character, and maybe the, the bad apple, as I say, in the White House as such. So, Ronnie... I suppose you have done many interviews down through the years about certain TV shows, about certain films that you have been in. And But what was it about Stargate SG-1 that made you want to keep coming back again and again to that sort of TV series and reliving that sort of character, uh, Robert Kinsey and S Senator Kinsey, that uh, is sort of well-renowned and well-revered uh, in Stargate. He seems to be the ultimate bad guy. Uh, well, yeah, I, I love doing Stargate. Uh, uh, first of all, the, the, the writers and producers and the people up there, uh, I, I just, they were so accommodating and, and so uh, uh, welcoming to, to my character and to, and, to, and to me as an actor that, that, that uh, it was really one of the most enjoyable uh guest starring roles that, 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 that I ever uh, did in television. So so it, it was a pleasure to go back and, and, I, and I had a wonderful working relationship with, uh, with Richard Dean Anderson and all the other other actors. So it, it and that's the fun of acting. The fun of acting is is, is reacting with with other really good competent actors and, and it was a joy and in terms of that Ronnie in terms of your character being brought back in a sort of recurring role season after season was they obviously they had you in mind for so many stories was there some times where you were involved in movies or TV series at the time where you couldn't have come back or they always worked it around your schedule for when they wanted you and when you were available to come up to Vancouver and British Columbia and be able Able to shoot up there. Yeah, they were very accommodating. If I had something else to do, they would, they would, they would, they would uh, uh, bend their schedule a little bit. And and and, and so, if, if I had something for uh, you know, I'm also a folk singer and a, and a guitarist. So sometimes I had gigs, or sometimes I had other other projects I was involved with. They would, they always made arrangements. To, to accommodate that, and and that's one of the other reasons why why it was such a pleasure working with them because they they were they, I, they they bent over backwards to to, to make sure that that, that that we that we could work things out the way we that was beneficial to all of us. Mm. And I suppose, Ronnie, when the producers and directors obviously had you for this particular character in, in mind, how were they able to sell it to you from day one? Obviously, you didn't have to come in and audition for the role. They had this character in mind uh, for you. How were they able to sell it to you that you would say, yeah, I'm intrigued. I want to learn more about what you think about how he's going to play out and in terms of that friction and his presidential role. What made you want to hear more and more about this character? Well, he was an intriguing character, and and I have to tell you the truth, Jim. I, I, playing the the bad guys mm. is about twenty times as much fun as playing the good guys. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah, I mean the, the the good guys always. Uh, they're boring. I mean, they end up doing the right thing. Now, sometimes they go down a wrong path for a little while, but they always, in the end, end up just doing the, the right thing. Whereas the bad guy, I, I, I liken it to painting. Mm. Uh, uh, to, to, uh, the, the, the good guy gets, gets three colors, red, white, and blue. The bad guy gets the whole palette. <laughs> he, he, he gets to do, and so and so it's just much more interesting to play those because that's the other thing is I like playing characters as far away from me as possible. I, I mean the fun is acting, not the, I, I I am certainly not one of these guys who tries to become the character. I, 
I, I, there are too many things one has to do as an actor for him to be also become that character. I'm hitting your marks, learning your lines, servicing the scene. Now, there are just any number of things as an actor that you've got to do that's outside the realm of being that character, uh, being that person. So, so uh, I, I, I love playing guys. I've always been very selective in my, in my choice. And I'm not, don't, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean I've always made the right choice, <laughs> but, 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 but uh, I always have a specific reason for wanting to play a character and, and, Senator Dickensy just intrigued me in lots of ways of that whole sort of bureaucratic uh, senator uh, meddling in, in really in, in, in areas that he had no expertise. <laughs> yeah. And Ronnie, in terms of the good cop, bad cop sort of thing you had going with William Devan, who played the president, uh, uh, in Stargate uh, SG-1 how did you be able to sort of bounce off each other because I almost felt like you want to sort of embrace um, William's character the president but you almost felt to sort of load sort of sinner, sinner sir sort of Kinsey so how was that sort of to embrace that sort of good cop uh, bad cop sort of routine that yourself and William had working on to real tea really well really sort of entered my thinking at all, to tell you the truth. I, I was just always interested in playing the, 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 what I thought was true to, 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 to that character. Mm. And, and it, it, I, in terms of, of, of overall good cop, bad cop, or, or how it, that, that was not for me mm. to, to meddle in. Mm. And obviously, Richard Dean Anderson was the focal point of Sar Sargate character. His character Jack uh, O'Neill will go down in sci-fi type of history as a sort of standalone sort of character. In terms of um, creating that sort of rapport uh, with Richard Dean, did you almost feel like the worst first day that you were on set, you were able to click into that sort of groove with each other, that you're almost like to able to feed off each other, almost like able to play off each other? Of course, I mean that's that's the key. <laughs> mm -hmm. That the, the, there was this 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 rapport of of being able to play off of each other. That, that that's what made that relationship work. Mm -hmm. And and so sure that that's that's the joy of of, of working with other uh, really good actors. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Ronnie, in terms of the seasons as you came back and you saw your character develop and obviously the trust and the NIA and then obviously the sort of fake sort of suicide in terms of the off-world thing, but in terms of the storylines and you're hearing the storylines as you're on set, were you sort of blown away by the whole creativity, the whole sort of the background stories that went to each, every sort of standalone episode as such? Sure. Yeah, I mean that, that that's the that's the brilliance of those those writers is is, is those backstories because I don't know if you if you remember sort of Kenzie's first introduction was 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 one of those episodes where they sort of recapped a whole bunch of uh, things that happened in the season and and so so in a, in a way that prepared me really well for the show because it gave me a chance to sort of to see how how Kenzie in his narrow view of things would think that he could solve their problems <laughs> and uh, in terms of that in terms of that Ronnie in terms of Stargate Obviously, the whole Gaul sort of thing, that sort of sci-fi universe. Are you sort of a fan of that type of genre? Do you like the, the surreal, the type of fantasy sort of role, playing characters that have that sort of an extra sort of twist to them? Sure, but the, the, the fun is always playing something that, that, that 
that's sort of challenging and, and forces you to sort of get out of your your comfort zone, if you will. And and so uh, and, and and I was married for years to, to my my wonderful my wife Mary, who was a scientist, but was a huge, huge, huge science fiction uh, hmm. aficionado. And and so it it was just delightful to, because because uh, science fiction has always sort of pointed the way for the rest of us <laughs> to, to, to to start thinking about things. <laughs> Yeah, and Ronnie, how did you feel about the cast assembled around um, uh, Richard Dean Anderson's character? Obviously, Michael Shanks, uh, a well-renowned character, Amanda Tapping, uh, Christopher Judge. How did you find uh, working with them and the dialogues and the inter- interactions that you had with them? Because there was many times uh, throughout the sequence of your time working in Stargate where you had a good lot of inter- interactions not only with Richard Dean's character, but those characters as well. Yeah, I, there, there were, I, I, to tell you the truth, and I don't know this sounds Pollyannish, but there, there were never, and I mean never, any pro, ego problems or, or just problems of, of working with the other. It was, it was, it, it was a jo- it was a re- real joy going up to, to, to Vancouver to, to do those shows. And Ronnie, one thing I've spoken to an awful lot of people about Stargate and Stargate Atlantis and Stargate SG One, and I know you've been in some fantastic sets and some amazing sets uh, throughout through the years. But sometimes people go into that sort of Stargate and they go out off scene lo- shooting and location in terms of into British Vancouver and Columbia, and their bl- mind is blown by how the set team can assemble sort of medieval sort of sets out in the sort of forest in the middle of nowhere in the space of an hour or two and sort of get sort of real quality Los Angeles studio type sets uh, where they are and that was one thing that struck an awful lot of people about Stargate their attention to detail in terms of design costumes there was no sort of stone left unturned well it, it, it was just, in terms of that the, the, the sort of professionalism that was there was was the, the uh, manifest uh, it, 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 to the nth degree, so it was. It was. It, it was. It was neither a step down or a step up from the from the really first rate productions in, in, in wherever you are. Mm. And I suppose Ronnie, in terms of the the character and the, your your that episode in uh, season seven. Where you discover that your character has been the NSE has been taken over by the Gauls, and obviously you're now play you've been taken over by a Gaul sort of symbiote as well. Did you find that episode extremely sort of enjoyable? That sort of now we're getting to see a different side, a different personality, a different entity uh, within this within Senator Kinsey. Yeah, just another challenge. As an actor, to, to 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 put yourself into that situation, and it, it, it's always fun to to, to 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 have your character then put be put into a, a different situation, and 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 see see how that affects him, and and so so yeah, all of a sudden, uh, Kinsey was a gold, so. <laughs> All the be- all the all the better. Yeah, and uh, Ronnie, in terms of your own character now, Senator Kinsey, let's pretend there was a Stargate encyclopedia, a dictionary, of sort of such, and uh, in terms of uh, a fictional dictionary, and they put all the characters that appeared in Stargate. Uh, throughout the seasons in this dictionary and they came down to Senator Robert Kinsey and then they left two blank sentences under the synopsis in terms of his description and the talent agents got on to your talent agents and said we want uh, Ronnie Cox to write that synopsis write those two sentences to describe um, Senator Kinsey not an epithet sort of such but what would you like those two sentences to read having played the character? What's what's written and, and what 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 happens between 
between the, the, the printed page and, and acting with the other person. And, and, and that's, that, 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 that's so, so there's a sort of truth that emerges from that, hopefully. And, and that's the fun of, of acting. Okay, so three.